In this video, I have a hot springs hot tub and I'm gonna show you how to resolve the blinking red and green lights. So in my experience, this is an early indicator that you're about to have a heating failure in your hot tub. Currently, my hot tub is still set at 103 degrees. The water's warm, but this is indicating from what I've seen that uh, when your filters get too dirty, there's low suction and then it's not heating as effectively. So it starts to alert you. So what I'm gonna do is get these filters cleaned up and reset the power so that this air will go away. This hot tub has five filters, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull all five out. Okay, so did you notice that when I took that last filter off, a lot of bubbles started coming out? And now that all the filters are out, there is no restriction of suction in here. And look at how the blinking lights have now changed. I now have power, and this is indicating that it's starting to heat. It's not ready, it's not at temperature yet. It's set at 103, but it's not ready yet. So it's now, I now see my bubbles happening again. My pump is working. I was about to have a catastrophic failure, but I caught it in time. And it's all because these filters are dirty. They don't look too dirty. Well, that one looks pretty dirty, but the other four don't look tremendously dirty by any means. But let's get them cleaned. I'm, I'm very glad to see that the setting, I'm very glad to see that the symptom has changed. So that indicates that I am doing the right thing. I'm gonna keep going. My water pressure on this hose is not very strong at all. I'm gonna need to figure out a different option to clean these. Okay, I went out and I got a spray nozzle so that it can come out at a higher pressure. Now you can see the color change already. Okay, I got all these sprayed out and cleaned off. Now I'm gonna reinstall them. Okay, all of the filters are now reinstalled. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop this clean now. Okay, just finished that. I'm now going to put it into clean mode so that it can run a lot of water through these filters for the next 20 minutes. I also wanna point out, notice how my red and green light is no longer blinking. This indicates that it's now reaching the temperature of 103 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it on the clean mode, let it run through. I'm gonna get some chemicals and put in also. Uh, you might notice that it's a slight green shade, but that's because we're in Colorado and there's a high metal count in the water. And whenever you have hot chlorinated water that has a high metal count, it turns into a, like a light green, kind of an aqua color. Uh, that is not anything to be concerned with. Looks like my alkalinity and my pH are high and chlorine is low. Pretty normal for those values to alter on a daily basis. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some adjustments now.
right, I just did another test with another brand and it looks like pH is good, alkalinity is good, chlorine's right where I want it. Okay, so I've let the entire system run for about 10 or 15 minutes right now. There seems to be good water flow through the filters. I'm seeing my circ pump push bubbles up uh, significantly where it wasn't before. And the temperature is maintaining with the solid red, solid green. So at this point, I'm gonna say that this issue is resolved. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Good luck on your project.